In this video, we're going to teach you how to set up a Copilot crop steering program. From the main dashboard, we're going to navigate to the Irrigation tab to begin. If you don't have any programs created yet, you should see a placeholder screen that looks something like this. To create our first program, we'll click on the Add New button found in the bottom right corner of the page and select New Copilot Program. This will bring us to the Copilot Creation Wizard, which will help walk us through creating our custom program. The first step is the Information tab, meant to collect the necessary parameters of our grow. On the right side, you'll see a customized tooltip for each data point, explaining what each field does and why we're asking for that data. Let's go through the fields together. We'll start by entering a name for our program. Since this program is for Table 4, I'm going to name it Table 4. Next, we'll select our substrate type. This field is used to calculate the total volumetric capacities, which aid in determining the best default target values and timer schedules for our program. Once that's been selected, we move on to choosing the sensor or sensor aggregate in which we'd like the program to pull its data from, followed by the specific valve or valves that we'd like to control. Then we will select whether we would like to steer generatively or vegetatively. Again, this will aid us in determining the best default set points and timers for our program. Next, we'll tell the program what size emitters we are using and how many per plant. Since I'm using two half gallon per hour emitters per plant, I'll enter 0.5 here and two under the number of emitters. If you are using a growling fertigation skid and direct injection, you can select the recipe you wish to use here. Otherwise, just leave this field blank. Our lights on and off time should come pre-populated, but we can use these fields to edit them if needed. If we are planning to use Autopilot to automatically apply our suggestions, we will enable that here using the toggle. We'll cover Autopilot in more detail in another video, but for now, we'll just disable it and create a regular Copilot program. Alerts will come activated by default, but can be disabled using the toggle. You can also add additional email addresses here by clicking inside the text box. Once these baseline parameters have been entered, we can choose to either move on to the next step in the wizard regarding ideal scheduling, or we can choose to skip the customization steps and go directly to the program creation page using our default set points and values. For demonstration purposes, we'll briefly walk through the steps of the program creation wizard by selecting next. This brings us to the schedule tab, where we'll find an interactive graph depicting the default set points that come pre-populated, based on the information we entered in the previous step. On the left hand side, you'll see a breakdown of phase one, phase two, flush, and overnight fail-safe timers that can be edited, enabled, or disabled. In the middle, you'll find a visual representation of the timer schedule that will be created if no editations are made. And on the right, an interactive tooltip that will let you know what each field does as it is selected. Let's move on to step three by selecting next. On the final step, you will find all necessary target values pre-populated as well as a tooltip showing what each field means, including targeted additional dryback percentage in phase zero, targeted ramp up shot size percentage, ramp up dryback percentage and field capacity percentage in phase one, targeted maintenance dryback percentage in phase two, and lastly, targeted overnight dryback percentage as well as target substrate EC in phase three. The interactive graph above will highlight which field you're currently selecting. Users have the option to select either absolute or volumetric percentages by clicking this drop-down menu at the top of the page. We will cover the differences between the two in more detail in another video. Once everything looks good, we will click on Next to proceed to the final step. On this page, we will be able to see a high-level overview of the details of our crop steering program in addition to a visual representation of every timer that will be created. Once we have determined that everything looks how we want, we will select Create. This will take us back to our Irrigation tab where we can now see the program we just created.